Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the first episode of my Darkness Falls series. So this is an overhaul mod pack for 7 Days to Die. We're going to go ahead and get right in here. Uh, I've loaded into one of the pre-generated worlds. Um, I've played a little bit just so I can get an idea of how this mod pack works. I've watched a bunch of YouTubers play too so I have an idea. I don't like walking into something cold like this um, just because I hate being unprepared for stuff so uh, yeah, uh, so this mod pack basically strips um, Seven Days to Die um, down to, I don't want to say it's bare essentials, but it's like they've changed a whole bunch of stuff. Um, let's just actually just jump straight in. I'm just going to start doing stuff and I'll explain as I go. I've also got a plan of what I want to do for this series. So let's open up our backpack that we start off with here. Gives us a bunch of stuff. We're going to go ahead and use this backpack. Yeah, thank you for the quest. Going to go ahead and use this. This will open up our first backpack here. So now we've got a bunch of free slots here, which is excellent. Let's bring some tools down here. Land claim block. You can come down here. You can come down here. Now these are our class books. We start off with two of them. And we're going to go ahead and do a... Let's do one at a time here. Um... We're going to do uh, two things. Laborer class. So we're going to craft a laborer cl class. And then we're going to go ahead and craft the farmer class. Put these in our hands. If it will let us do this. Do I have to be like... What the... What the... Farmer. Craft. There we go. Alright, perfect. Now I'm starting with these two classes for a specific reason, which I'll fill you in a little later. If you're playing this mod pack, these two classes probably aren't the best ones to start with. Uh, but I am starting with them anyway. Alright, so now let's get some stuff going here. We want to make some general tools. So we're going to need some wood. So we can find some available sticks here. We're going to need grass fiber. I'm going to need a lot of cloth to start. So each class um, has six levels of quests that you kind of have to go through. Um, and you start out like that, it'll give you a few items to start with, like clothing and things like that. Um, some of the classes will give you a weapon to start with. Nothing like major and nothing game breaking, obviously. This game is actually really hard, or it can be. So the stuff that you get at the beginning isn't like it's gonna like give you, like make you super powerful in any kind of way. All right, so let's, we got enough stuff to start with. I'm gonna back up because I wanna kill that deer here in a second. So we're gonna go ahead and do recipes. We're going to make some sharp rocks. Uh, let's get a few of those going. We need some sticks here because they've changed how to make a few things. So we're going to get those going. Uh, then we want to go ahead and recipes. We want to craft a stone axe with the sharp rocks. And we want to get two more sharp rocks going here. Recipe, sharp rocks, just two more. Perfect. Because we're going to go ahead and make a primitive bow to start and we're going to get as many arrows as we can get going here four craft beautiful now we need some more wood to get a to get a club going bring you down here i just want to have a few things on me so that we're ready once the zombies spawn in now we're obviously not going to be um taking on zombies right away i mean we could but there's no point in doing it so You'll notice here as I'm hitting this boulder, I'm getting iron and stone. You're not going to find the regular resource nodes on this map like we, we were getting in the regular 7 Days to Die. This kind of takes it back. I think it's like Alpha 16 or 17 or something where you had to hit boulders to find out what was kind of below ground. Um, so we just need a little bit of stone. I'm going to break up this bird nest. Hopefully get a few more feathers out of this. Hopefully get some cloth too. No cloth, but we'll take that. We'll take the uh, stuff. Let's get some wood. Grab a tree from over here. So, yeah. Um, so for this series, what my goal is going to be... Um, I'm just going to say that... Like, this is a this is the um, Darkness Falls large map 1. So it's a, it's a 12k map. So it's about 2.5 times the size of the largest regular um, 7 Days to Die map. Um, so what we're going to be doing in this one, the reason why I chose laborer and farmer is we're going to go to the traders, which we've got marked on the map now, and 
whoever this traitor is, we're going to turn his traitor um, compound into a fortress. So basically our job is we've, we're being sent into this basically traitor compound. It's basically a forward base um, as a laborer. And our job is to actually get the thing um, defensible versus large numbers of zombies. So that's our goal. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's get... So there's all kinds of new plants, uh, recipes for food. Ooh, there's a blunderbuss in the jacket right away. Let's go ahead and wear that. Bring the blunderbuss down. Was not expecting that, but that's certainly really nice. Uh, we're just going to keep that for emergencies, and then we're going to go ahead and make a club, which is going to be our main weapon. Let's craft that. All right. Um, put this down here. Now we're going to start moving. I'm going to be picking up cotton on the way and a few other things. Um, all right, so there's a deer. You can see that, ah, man, they've got health bars now on all the uh, animals and stuff and the zombies and all that stuff. Actually, we're going to go ahead and get a bone knife out of this first. I'm using the wrong thing. There we go. That's a hammer, not a, uh, not a, um, like a stone axe. All right, let's see what we got in here. Uh, we're going to take that. So we can carry a lot of stuff, but we'll get slow really fast. So once again, I'm going to go with the same kind of layout that I did in, um, my uh, Blasted Oasis series where I'm kind of run, going to run with li really light armor and then when we can get the leather, leather jacket I'll be using that too. So that's my goal anyway. Just because I want to have high mobility because some of this stuff in this game can kill you real quick. Um, so I just want to avoid that. Alright, let's get some more feathers if we can and we're going to head to the traders. Alright, so you'll notice as I'm going along it says your skill in mining has increased. So the skills are all different in this game too. There's a lot of different um, categories of skills and they've kind of gone back to um, the skill, like the basic skills like, you know, using mining tools or firearms or things like that. Your skill with them increases the more you use them. So the more I use my mining tools, the more my skill will go up with it. The more I use like, you know, my baseball bat or a club, the more my blunt weapon skill will go up. And the more skill we have with it, I'm going to grab these guys because it's part of my farm requests. I'll show you those in a second. The more skill you have with it, obviously the more damage you're going to do, the faster you're going to be with it. That, that kind of stuff, right? So, alright, let's um, quickly go here. So class quests. i got to gather full goldenrod flower and yucca um, fruit. And for my laborer, i got to get wood, clay soil, and stone. Those are the first ones. Really, the clay soil and stone, I can get at night. I can dig down under the traders and pick those up. So really, I want to get my wood while I'm out here. And I also want to look for the yucca. I'm doing this because I want to make armor. And I can make it with just cotton and plant fiber. So it's relatively quick. All right, so let's go ahead. How much do we got here? 42. That's more than enough, so we'll take those. Okay, so it looks like the trader might be in the desert. In which case, I want to try and grab as much golden rod before we get out there as I can. So let's kind of go along this way. Um, so there's like like lots of different um, recipes for food uh, in this game. As I was saying, there's a lot of different like end game firearms, vehicles, and of course there's survivors walking around. So some of them are bandits. This one's a survivor. Uh, what I'm going to try and do too in this game is I'm going to try and keep some extra healing on me because those survivors will I just thought I thought I saw a zombie over there so the survivors will get hurt uh, and killed so any survivor that we come across that's probably enough I think we just finished that first little bit any survivor that we come across I'm gonna try and keep them at health full health if I can that's part of our job so the zombies you can see you've got a health bar now we can see how tough they are. As far as difficulty settings go, um, the difficulty settings are set, everything's set to default. Um, 
with the exception I got the zombies on uh, jog just so they move a little faster Ooh, uh, there's a guy there we don't want to be messing with knocked your ass out that's another zombie so there's lots of zombies out in this game it's kind of like having the two times zombie mod from our last playthrough gonna grab this too I was really hoping that our trader wasn't going to be in the desert, but looks like it is in the desert. Yeah, you guys do you. I'm going to keep going. So you can see here, I can do, I can pick up the plants now. I don't have to actually hit them, which is a nice little change. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. I mean, zombies are spawning in, and there are a lot of animals and zombies. Like max zombies on the map can be a hundred, max animals is fifty. So, oh, okay, we got Trader Jen. I was really hoping that it wouldn't be Jen, but... Yeah, see, there's a survivor there going after a zombie already. Hit me again. I don't have any healing for you, kiddo, but I can help you take the zombie out. You're Teamwork! Tough now, are you? Why are you swinging yeah. at me? Oh, you're not. Yeah. Oh, you are! What the hell? I was helping you! Why you gotta do me like that? You a bandit? Oh, you're a bandit! That's all I got. Flashlight, take that. So, Trader Jens, because I've been thinking about how easy it's going to be to defend certain places. Jens is not that bad to defend. The problem is, is it's so big. It's the size that's the issue with it, right? So I got to consider how, like that building in the center is pretty much where we're going to be setting up to start. What's up, buddy? All right, three easy zombies up, three easy zombies down. Let's take a care of the zombies on the out outside of the building here because the traders are not indestructible now. In this mod pack, they can... You can see they've got guards on the wind on the side there and they'll shoot at zombies. And they'll also hit you if you're not careful. They walk their fire pretty well, but uh, they'll walk that fire straight into you. So the traders are destructible, meaning that they're not immune to damage now. So if a zombie horde comes and knock and it's going to blow right through these walls and it can kill the trader because traders have hit points. They got a lot of hit points, but it can still kill the trader, which is why we got to defend this place. That guy took a friggin' beating. You took a beating, buddy. That's kind of a nice looking base there, but... We're not building a base outside the trader. We're going to build inside, and that is all. Alright, what do we got for buildings here? There's somebody inside? Did somebody break in already? No. Did they spawn inside? Well, let's grab these two, because uh, we have to make seeds here. So let's go ahead and... Recipes... Oh! Damn it, where are you, you bastard? There you are. I forgot the uh, birds will go after you if you're not at full health. Yeah, I gotta engage this guy. Stay parallel with the guards. I don't get any XP if they kill him, but at least he can't attack the uh, the place here. All right. Um, so we've got two of those seeds. We need two yucca seeds. Um, for our there we go. We should get some clothing after this. Oh, for Christ's sake! That's somebody on the inside. Yeah, he was on the inside. All right, we got to get a land claim block down inside. So I got to decide how we're going to fortify this place. I'm thinking that we're going to do corner towers for the guards. And of course, this pillar here will be reinforced. And then I think center towers for some of the... Because there's guards on the center part here on each of the sides and at the back. This is obviously going to be our house for now. All right, let's go loot everything around here first. 
there a big boy out there gonna break up some stuff here oh we got a working mixer that's freaking nice does this work oh working forge too holy crap we still gotta make a forge and everything but all right I don't know why the textures are messing up like this all right uh oh we got an that's a scrap iron pickaxe beautiful So we got somebody beating on the back already. Jacket we can sell. Gonna wait for you to punch a hole. Yeah, we got some weird shit going on with textures. Not sure why. Okay, let's go ahead and make a... Okay, we're gonna wear this for now. We'll wear that. Yeah, as much as I hate wearing the cowboy boots, we'll wear that. Actually, we'll wear the heat resistance too. What's this one? It's the same. So dyes are important in this game. We're going to need them for later on. Let's go put this stuff down. Oh, I meant to make a storage container here. Actually, let's go see what this guy's beef is. Oh, you're almost through. Yeah, they're trying to shoot through the wall there. So we're going to be reinforcing this whole wall. Like, there's a lot of work to do here. Um, and I don't know how we're going to hold... Like, this place, next to uh, Trader Hugh, I think this is probably the hardest one to hold down. Because I think it's because it's so big. I think I heard somebody else out here, so let's just take a pot shot and see if the guards will finish them off. I got a guy right here. Come on, guys, shoot him. Oh, you took that one right in the forehead. And we're not getting our arrows back either. Um, apparently there's no retrieval of arrows in this game, so once you've spent it, it's gone. All right, let's sell some stuff. We'll get our storage chest down inside. We want to go out. We want to get some wood. Uh, we might as well grab all these to start, because i got a feeling this is where we're going to be putting down our first farm. It's got to be irrigated too. You can't just uh, throw a farm, like a uh, farm plot down and expect stuff to grow. You need water for it. And there's a way we can do that relatively s simply. Sorry for my foul mood. That's my coffee I, maker's on the fritz again. If I had 100,000 hits, I'd probably have a foul mood too. Or 100,000 hit points, that is. Alright, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. So you can go... That looks like it's about it. I'm going to keep the rest, I think. We're going to sell this jacket, though. I hope you so, come back and see me sometime. Uh, modify you. So, dyes can be worth a lot. Some of them are worth a lot. Some of, some of them aren't. So, that can go. And the purple isn't worth much. It's like worth 56. Well, we'll sell the purple. Why not? Uh, now, you do have anything amazing? Probably not. Blade trap schematic. I'm not going to be able to buy much for the first little bit here anyway, but just want to check to see if you got anything important. You restock on day three, so it's not like I'm going to be able to get much before that anyway. I probably should be looking for food stuff, like eggs. And if you've got a firearm, I can make all those scrap um, tools, which we will be doing. Uh, cobblestone we might want to buy eventually tomorrow. You got a baseball bat here already, but I got to make my own anyway. And they're expensive. We got a pistol for a couple thousand. That's probably a good buy. Um, even better pistol. Well, All right. Just brighten my so, day. what I'm jobs do you got? You. Anything close by? Clear zombies to the east. Oh, One. This is the yeah. Best way to get. Do hurry. I have a protection payment coming up soon. See ya. Hey, got 104. Nice. All right, let's go drop some stuff off in the box here. We'll put our land claim down, block down. Let's just put it under here for now. That should cover most of this place. I'm gonna go up here. Now there's this guard captain up here. It's got another quest for us, I think. Why is there two of them? Should only be one. Well, we're only gonna talk to the guy out in front. Um, just to keep it fair. Now this guy's got like sterile bandages and stuff. And this is what I meant by saying, 
like I'm going to be buying all these as we go along because we want to keep the guards in full health so that's what we'll be healing the guards with. These only heal 15 per which isn't much but they're only worth five so I can buy a crap ton of these. But you know the you fact that we're like great day now. Thanks man. The fact that we're in the desert too though we can probably get a lot. Um, come on quit lagging. We can make a lot of healing anyway so I'm going to lock about four of these. And we're going to keep the iron on us. Yeah, we got to make armor still. Yeah, let's keep this on us. We're going to have to make arrows. We're going to need the ammo. Okay, all you guys can go in there for now. So let's go ahead and make um, recipes. Let's make... We can make, what, 72? We might as well use... Yeah, let's go all in and then recipes 36 sticks just so I don't have to do that again all right let's get going oh wait do you got a quest for me here got any jobs anything to the east nothing southwest buried supplies to the north it's a little far so we'll hold off see what he's got tomorrow all right let's get moving we need to get our wood outside today. Probably get some from this. Alright. So another big change you'll probably notice is there's no... Um, we don't have uh, a clock. So I have no idea what time it is. So once the crickets hit, we know it's time to uh, get back home. So we're going to have to monitor our time early on. Uh, very very carefully now later in the game um, you can actually make a watch you can put on your armor so we'll have the time all like whatever we like all the time basically uh, which is the whole reason for having a watch uh, let's repair you and let's um, go ahead and crank out some arrows here okay so how much do we need here um, we need 600 right 600 wood that's the farmer class, rotting flesh, nitrate powder, clay soil. So clay we're going to be getting, wood we need 600, so let's do that real quick here. So I already kind of know what my second quest is for a uh, laborer. So, so the reason why I want to try and grab as much wood as I can during the daytime here on day one, because we got to make wood frames and then put place wood frames and upgrade them we got to make cobblestone and co and uh, flagstone blocks and place them down. So if we can get as much wood as we can here on day one, then tonight when we're inside the compound, uh, I don't have any stones. Because I used them all. Now i got to find one. Damn it. Here we go. Because um, once we're in the trader compound tonight, repair this. Where are you? trying to do two things at once um, we can go ahead and place all those down get them all upgraded during the nighttime on the downtime which I think is a better way to do it and then um, we'll have the days free for doing questing and going out and gathering items and stuff that we absolutely need so we're gonna have to dig a, a um, mine shaft in the trader compound tonight so I'm gonna do that um, so we can get our clay soil and stone. So that'll be easy enough. Let's get this broken down. Where are we at now? 500 and something? I'm gonna drop these trees down here because this looks like a patch of green land. Oh, it stretches for a bit, okay. Because if I had to plant those things in the desert, they're only gonna grow to stage two, which is not a lot of wood. It's only 600 rather than 1200. Got just enough wood. I'm gonna grab some of this stuff here too. Can we don't need. Tomatoes we don't need right now. Let's go ahead and scrap the can. Gonna grab some oranges. We got bananas already. Now if I can find an apple tree, we can make fruit salad and have that for dinner. So uh, I'll keep our eyes open. How tough is this cow here? 200? Oh, 
He's gonna mess me up if I don't watch out. There you go. Now I gotta watch out for vultures, because of course we do. It looks like we're getting rotten flesh from the animals, too. We only got 10 meat out of that guy? That's a pretty damn thin cow. Okay, I want to grab a little bit extra. Let's grab some stone here, because we're going to need it in a second. I don't know why I'm doing it that way. Let's do it this way. It's a little faster. So, grab a bit of stone, a little bit of iron here. We're going to need iron in a bit. Now, we had to... One of our quests for the laborers, making a forge and placing a forge, that's happening a little later on, so... We want to have a bit of iron, because our last quest is making a baseball bat, so... We can get a bit of iron here. I mean, I don't think I can blow through all the laborer quests tonight, but... We'll get a few of them done anyway. Farmer, I'm okay with letting it go a little while longer. Because we've already got that the first kind of quest done. And it opens up a bunch of recipes for us, so we can actually make some half-decent food. The big issue with this mod pack is food early on, which is why I took one of the reasons why I took farmer class. Like you can take, like there's the there's a class that gives you access to like relatively half-decent firearms early on and things like that. But you know, and if you're a guy that likes, to, or a person, sorry, if, that likes to go around and try and, you know, kill as much stuff as fast as possible, then yeah, I could say go ahead and go for that. But honestly, the club and the bow can do you well for the first, you know, seven days. So you don't actually have to go and do that. Now that's an orange tree and a banana tree. I don't see any. Apple trees around. There's a bee right there, so I'm not going to be moving over there. Another avian flyer I got to worry about. All right, let's go do this quest. I right, just quickly stop up at home to empty my backpack out so we can maximize the amount of shiz we can carry coming back from here. Um, okay, it's not the saloon. It was supposed to be a house, I thought. All right, we got some interesting POIs. So this thing has got the compo POI pack. Which I think has been updated for Alpha 19. Oh, we got a snack here. A little bit more meat. If anything, we can uh, be having charred meat for dinner. I think that's one of the quests for um, farmer as well as getting charred meat. Okay, we need some more of this. All right, got more bananas here. Probably grab those on the way back. Um, oh, this place. Now, are you a bandit or are you a... You're a survivor. Okay, good. Ah, oh, goat. Apparently not afraid of me, though. You should be. Come on, buddy, get up. I gotta see your face. How you like me now? Yeah, cool modeed your ass, didn't I? How you like me now? All right, we're gonna uh, do a bit of. What was that? Oh, he's walking into the. Uh, I see. He's attacking the cactus. Sound like something was hitting somebody. I grabbed this. So this is a clear of the area. A bit of iron, we'll set this back up again. Grab this. So these scrap iron tools uh, are great because you can actually just repair them with regular iron. No repair kits needed. All right, no zombies coming. Oh yeah, this is the uh, mine attic. You got served, bitch! This gives us a lot of rotten flesh, I think. Nice. And, let's make a shovel, can we? Pretty sure we can. Nice. We need a rain catcher, too. I'll make that when we get home. Um, 
putting a rain catcher down uh, under the ground will uh, cause it in a short while to fill up with water. So that can be your endless water supply, basically. You don't actually have to go out and find water, which I think is kind of a nice little addition. Although it fills up really quickly, so I mean, it's kind of like, you know, it is what it is. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Somebody's outside. The other thing too is this uh, mod allows you to sneak through uh, one block high stuff. So you can go out a one block high window or whatever, but it, it kind of like tricks itself out a little bit. I don't see anybody here. Door closed, nice. So the skill system is completely different. Oh, forge ahead, okay. So that's a um, a skill book. If I wasn't laborer class, that would allow me to um, pick up a forge early on. Because if you don't have the laborer class, you're not getting the forge early on. Now these locked doors, you can just break them and they'll turn into an unlocked door. I hear you out there. I got you in a second. Hang on. See? Now I can open it up. Where are you? That's the crickets, damn it. We gotta hurry. That's the crickets. We gotta hurry. I think I know this POI. If it was a compo pack POI, we could be in a lot of trouble. Thank God it's not. All right, let's repair this. There's usually somebody in here. Which means we're gonna have to come back and like loot this place tomorrow. Nobody in here. Take the baseball cap, why not? This is locked too, really? Okay, let's grab this. Butchering tool schematics, pipe bomb schematics. So, we're gonna go ahead and read this because this is in the science class and I don't have access to pipe bombs unless we get that. Butchering tools, we can take that one too. That gives us access to knives and machetes. Now, loot drops are a lot higher. Loot bag drops are a lot higher. However, um, they're not quite as good. Can I sneak this in there? Damn it. I got one more right here. There we go. Got the clear done. Beautiful. Grab that. I'm gonna grab the stuff I know we can we can take real quick here. Splints will be good. First aid bandage, not bad. Put that down. Oops, here. Grab that. These guys aren't gonna break in anytime soon. Yeah, I hear you out there. Grab this. Nice, some water. All right, well, whatever. Ooh, pipe pistol. Or it could be a pipe rifle. I think it might be a rifle. Uh, I'm not gonna go through this place too much. Looking for a cooking pot though. Yeah, nope. Grab this and then we'll get out of here. We'll come back, uh, really? Well, I might as well take it. Oh, she just died. No. Sorry, kiddo. Okay, now we should just be able to break this out. Break that out. And sneak through there. There we go. Alright, let's head home. Grab some bananas while we was at it. Avoid all the zombies while we was at it. Good thing the house is really close by. Let's grab this corn though. 
Lag. It's the I'm I'm pretty sure it's the compo pack POIs that causes the lag because whenever you get close to one of these places, there's usually zombies outside, so they spawn in, and you get these lag spikes when they spawn. All right, now the thing I think we're missing is probably um, nitrate powder. I don't think we're going to have enough of that for the next level of farmer. We only got 15 on us, and I don't think we got a lot the, when we were out the last little bit. Yeah. All right, well, we'll figure out what we're going to do for food tonight. I think some of our class quests will give us some food. As you can see, our food on the left, or sorry, right-hand side at the bottom. I didn't check this, did I? Ah, beautiful. Oh, let's do this. Um, rain catcher. Let's get one of these going. Craft that. And we're going to drop it down right in the center here. So this is this is probably going to be where our farm's going to be anyway. So we just throw this down two blocks because one block up is where the water forms. So do that. Get in here. Get our quest reward. Another wonderful morning in Amazing. the apocalypse. I hope you like your reward. I'm going to take the scrap machete. Excellent. Now you don't have anything else close by, right? Buried supplies to the east. All right. We don't want to be doing buried supplies. So let's bring the machete down. We can drop this because we can't scrap it. Now these guys, yeah, craft forging bellows. We're going to be able to do that really shortly anyway. Um, now the food here also um, has a chance for food poisoning, which is a problem. So this is the pipe pistol, which is basically nine millimeter. All right, what do we got in here? Anything good? Uh, no, I think I want to hold off spending my money. So we're going to put our mine right here. I'm going to start digging that right now. So I'm making surface noise during the day and then at night hopefully we don't agitate the zombies because at night time the zombies that spawn can be particularly nasty. You'll get radiated at night even early on. Now the radiated's they're not as tough as the normal radiated's but they still regen health and they can be nasty. Alright so let's do that. Then we want to do um, put ladders in later want to do a hatch. Alright, just relax, man. We got this. Yeah, yeah. Get the food taken care of in a second. Gonna throw our hatch in here. Use our hammer to upgrade it. That's as far as we can go. It says I don't have an iron hatch, but even if I did, I can't upgrade it with this hammer. I have to have a, uh... I gotta have a, um... What's it called? A, um... Oh my god. Um, I gotta have a nail gun to do it. Alright, so let's drop some stuff in here. Uh, keep the water on us. We're gonna need it. We'll keep that on us. You can go in there. How much? We got 34. Alright, not so good on nitrate powder. Alright, we're gonna leave the pipe pistol here. Um, because like I said, we're not going to need it right away. We're going to be real, try and be very, very evasive for the first bit. So obviously, since the trader is unbreakable, they're not going to kick you out at night, which means I can stay here uh, permanently. We need to do. Let's do this. Um, uh, we need to make a campfire. Craft one of those, and we've got a forge outside. So the way the forges work now, let's grab this. We got our iron on us, right? Yeah, perfect. The way the forges work now, uh, kind of cool. Uh, we'll drop this down here. So you can't melt stuff into the forge. Actually, you know what I should do? Get rid of this. Sorry if it's dark, guys. Once I finish my first mining quest, which I'll do tonight, I'm going to have a, um, a mining helmet that I can use. So I'll have that tomorrow for the next episode. So for this, we can go ahead and make a cooking pot. All we need is the time to do it. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the iron and the clay. And it just makes it right away. There's no burning stuff into the forge. It just does it. Which I think is, it's, I think that's better. I make a cooking grill too, I think. Excellent. So I am going to go down to the mine here, uh, even though we're hungry and thirsty. But I'm going to go down in here 
and get digging and working to finish off my first two um, uh, where is it here my first labor request get this done and get the second one underway hopefully I can get the second one done tonight which like I said is just making frames and uh, um, cobblestone and flagstone blocks and things like that so that's all the kind of boring stuff that's gonna I'll just do it at night times get get those quests out of the way the farm request we can't complete because we need nitrate powder clay soil I'll be getting tonight rotten flesh we have upstairs so it's just the nitrate we'll have to get tomorrow um, got a zombie outside there's never a good sign actually let's go ahead and make three frames keep that on us anyway gonna end this first episode here in a hole in the traders <laughs> and we'll come back and see see you guys again in the next one if you enjoyed this one please drop a like if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Most likely I'm going to batch record episodes. So if I don't make changes based on your notes um, right away, it's because I'm pre-recording them. It's just because of the way my job works and all that stuff. I can't really do um, recordings every night and editing every night and posting every night. It's kind of a pain in the ass for me. So I try to bulk as much as I can. Anyway, um, yeah, until next time, we'll see you all later.